If you have a 3.8 liter motor in your Carrera S, there is a tuning flap in the resonance tube. This flap is controlled by a control valve and actuator on the rear of the resonance tube. Due to the rear engine design of the 997.2 motor, you need to remove the resonance tube to access these components. Begin by disconnecting the battery. The resonance tube, red arrow, connects the incoming air to the two intake runners, manifolds, or as Porsche describes them, air intake distributors, blue arrows. Begin by removing the air box and throttle body. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with those tasks. Next, you will need to do a partial engine drop. Again, please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance. Squeeze in on the locking lugs on the AOS air oil separator vent line and separate it from the resonance tube, red arrow. Squeeze in on the locking lugs on the PCV line on the right side of the throttle body housing and slide the line back and off. Remove the vent line behind it, blue arrow. Use a T30 torque and remove the two self-locking screws on the bands around the resonance tube. Red arrow, right side shown. Remove the bands from each side. They will unhinge from the rear, red arrow. Remove both the lower bands, red arrow. The bands can be stuck on and may need to be tapped off with an extension and a rubber mallet. Use care if you do this as the resonance tube and the intake manifolds are made of plastic. Slide both bands out from underneath the resonance tube. Use a plastic trim removal tool and slide the rubber bands gaskets off of the intake manifolds and in towards and onto the resonance tube. Red arrow. Slide the trim tool all the way around and make sure you get the sleeve completely off. You will need to disconnect the vacuum line and electrical connector from the valve at the rear. Red arrow. You are going to do this mainly by feel. With the resonance tube out of the vehicle, you can see the components. Separate the wiring connection by squeezing in on the tube and pulling it off of the valve, blue arrow. You will need to disconnect the vacuum line from the valve. The line from the valve to the tuning flap can stay. I could not get the line to separate and ended up cutting it as close to the valve as possible, red arrow. The valve separates from the tube by lifting up on the retaining tab, red arrow, and sliding it off of the mount. To replace the actuator, remove the two screws with a T25 torque. Installation is the reverse of removal. Spray a light coat of silicon on the vacuum line when attaching it to the valve. Clean the resonance tube and the intake manifolds as best you can with a lint-free cloth. Lightly spray both rubber sleeves with silicon spray and when installing them, should be able to pull them completely around 360 degrees, the resonance tube once installed. The stop bead must be seated between the tube and the intakes. Always replace the self-locking screws and torque them to 4.5 newton meters or 3.5 pounds. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.